Hey guys, welcome to the newest patch notes 1.77 um, featuring wave buffs and um, a switch for 18 and 19. So um, let's start. Our major priorities right now are the 5th Legion, a tutorial for new players and translating the game. In the meantime, we'll continue releasing patches with bug fixes, balance changes and quality of life improvements. Please note that while we release balance patches frequently, less than 5% of our time is spent balancing the game. So they are actively working on 5th Legion tutorial translating. So don't worry about that. If they do a balance patch, it's just so the game feels more balanced. But they, they are working on other stuff in the meantime. Okay, new feature, automatic match cancelling. If a player is AFK or fails to connect to the match, it remains a closed slot on both waves. Uh, on both waves 1 and 2, the game will be marked as a tie on wave 3, with no rating changes. If we read abuse, players who are AFK or qu quit from loading screen will automatically lose 8 rating. Good. So it makes it more fair if, if one team maybe had a, had a bug that someone couldn't connect. Matchmaking updates party restrictions. So uh, for duos no restrictions, but for trios and quads, uh, you gotta be careful now. And I'm around this elo, so if I party up with more players around my elo, it would be a problem. But yeah, this this only affects the top one percent of players. Oh, I feel special now. Okay. <laughs> party starting. So uh, it's it's more likely now that teams are matched against each other depending on the party size instead of the party rating. Um, I'm not sure if I like that. Many people are complaining, oh yeah, we are four solos and we play versus four premates. But the four premates have a really, really big um, penalty because of the, the party, so I don't know. I, 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 I like playing with four people against, uh, with, with four single players versus a team, because the team usually is worse on um, on their skill level, but they might have a better team level, kind of. But yeah. Um, chat calculator. You can do, now do simple math in the game by typing the math expression followed by an equal sign. For example, if you type 24 plus 20 equals, it will display the result. I already tested this. It works. I typed 2 plus 2 minus 1 and then equals, and it said 3. So it's good in quick math. Uh, text commands. Ratings now shows party type. Video options. Yeah, new video options for the people of you that have problems with lags. Enable Bloom and enable anti-aliasing. Uh, you can change it to off now. Um, interface options. Legion selection. Bots. Some more bug fixes from 1.76a. Yeah, scrolling within the game shadow window no longer causes... Yeah, that was something that was introduced in the 1.76. That was kind of weird. Buffing or targeting. Melee short range units are now smarter about prioritizing low health targets. They now use the same targeting logic as range units. That's new, like melee and short range units. They used to just attack the one closest to them, but um, maybe that makes them stronger now, but I don't know. It's, it's really hard to say. Um, because it could also mean that they uh, try a little bit longer to find a new target. That would be bad then. Yeah, I don't know. Game balance, Legion spells. Two new spells, Sorcerer, increases health by 500, grants Sorcery, or that increases damage of spells by 12%. Well, everything that is not an auto attack is a spell. Just as for you as an example, the AoE of Death Cap is a spell, obviously. The um, Star Color Disciple Missiles are a spell, same as the Violet spell. Um, the secondary attacks of a pyro are a spell, and for example, the on-hit magic damage of a berserker is also a spell. So just just that you know, and also banana bank banana haven, the the attacks are attacks, but the return damage is a spell. So um, yeah, should help you a little bit. Venture pay up to one hundred gold, gain three hundred percent the amount when wave twelve ends. So you basically get this after wave ten, and then you gotta be really. Um, you gotta be sure that they don't send 11 or 12 and that you also don't send on those waves because you basically have to pay 100 gold um, and you get 300 gold. I'm not sure if this one is really that good, especially like I, I only see rare circumstances where this really works out for you because in the end it's just plus 200 gold, which is more, but you have to wait very long and you have to pay something. So yeah, I don't know. 
King has been buffed a little bit, but honestly, if you see the balance changes later on, um, that doesn't really do anything. The King is way weaker now. Um, Element Aqua Spirit, a change to the damage of Aqua Spirit. It's now higher damage, but the bounce doesn't do full damage, it does 50 now. Um, from what I've seen so far, um, it feels like Aqua Spirit is stronger early, but it, it's, it's a really small change, so it doesn't do that much. It, it, it does less damage overall now, but with more damage on the first target, you just clear the wave, the, the first creeps of the wave, much quicker. So, yeah, it's it's kind of hard to say. It's it's neither above nor nerf. It's it's something in between. Violet, uh, less HP. Mudman and Golem more attacks per second. We designed an ability for Mudman and Golem, but it has high implementation costs. So it will come in a later patch. For now, we're just buffing their stats. Yeah, so um, attacks per second up. Um, I don't know what the ability will be, but it could be something that, for example, if they take a lot of damage, um, just, just just one example, if they take a lot of damage um, quick, as if like they get bursted, they might get like a better armor or something, that they get like uh, plus 10% armor, plus 20% armor, depending on how many times they got hit or something. That's something I could imagine, but I, I don't know, like I actually don't know what they're what they are thinking of. And then a lot of Forsaken stuff. Fire Archer nerf. People be like, oh no, my Fire Archers, they, they are so bad already and they get nerfed and nerfed and nerfed. But honestly, if you see high elo matches, everyone builds Fire Archers, everyone. <laughs> so they are definitely still strong. So yeah, their, their region makes them so strong. It's not really the attacks per second. Um, okay, and then on Forsaken, because it has currently the lowest win rate, um, Green Devil buff, Head Chef buff, Nightmare, Doppelganger, a lot of death, Hades. Okay, well a lot of death I like because uh, I recently had a game with a lot of death and Disciple, that was pretty cool. Ah uh, yeah, I, I think I recorded some games already with that. Um, Pyro, Nerf. Yeah, it's 50 HP, it's, it's not that much, but it's, it's, it's okay. Fiend, health up, damage down. Too much of Fiend's power was due to whether it was targeted at the beginning or end. Yeah, that was, I, I, I really like to send Fiend. <laughs> because it, like, uh, also some, some, some levels double Fiend, because they deal a lot of damage, really. And, um, yeah, now they have some more HP. Um, but now, actually, some units that focus the Fiend early, and it has 480 HP, are not going to be in a good, good spot either, <laughs> so... For example, if a bazooka hits a fiend, that takes ages before it kills the fiend. Okay, Brute. Health down, damage down. No longer has a person chance to stun. Now slows attack speed by 12%, 3% against the king, stacking up to 9 times. And now it does a stick up to 108%. It, um, it always removes 12% of the current attack speed. So like 12% and then from the remaining 88% it removes 12% and so on. So it doesn't go down to zero. Um, yeah, interesting, um, which means that the, uh, um, oh no, what was the name again? The intelligence stun rate, the progressive stun rate, or whatever it was called, um, doesn't, ha like, it, it doesn't exist in the game anymore because there's no more stuns in the game. <laughs> well, whatever. Brute no slows your salty tears instead. Why not? It's It's okay, I mean... You can still shut down units pretty good by sending like two or three brutes to someone. So they don't, they can't really attack that much. So it's less RNG, even less RNG now, and I think it's it's good like this. Okay, man, blood rush, mana cost down, okay. A shaman, shaman wasn't really used that much, and it only gives 10% attack speed, so most people are like, why should I even use that unit? So uh, it's, it's only really good late game, like 20. It's like that's the only way for it's good. Waves 11 to 17 buffed by 3 to, 9, uh, 3 to 4 percent. Waves 18 to 19 swapped. Waves buffs encourage shorter saves. Yes, they do. Will shooters mantises. This is the biggest change. Drill golems. They were once at 180 damage, and they have been buffed a lot. So um, yeah, really big buff to 13. I heard 25 percent games ended on this wave. Then 14 buffs, 15 big HP buff, 
16 buff. Honestly, 16 buff doesn't look that much, but keep in mind that there's 18 creeps on this wave. And the king was doing good versus the like with the AoE against the Cardinals, but 50 HP makes a big difference, even if there's uh, no Hermit sent. And then Metal Dragon's buff. Well, Chiefs nerfed obviously because they are now wave 18. I think they're still pretty strong though, so you gotta be careful. And um, 19 is now Dire Toads, and they're super strong. They, they have really good HP and good damage. But yeah, at, at this point, you should usually have a lot of income, so maybe you can hold 19 better than 18 now. But yeah, this was made because wave 16 to 18 were previously too vulnerable to peers. And this was actually something that I talked to Jules about. I, it was always, like, people didn't really uh, talk about that too much, but for me it was, it was kind of sad to see that from 16 to 18 people were always building the exact same units. And if, if you didn't have that unit, you were kind of bad there. But you were good on 19, but bad on the three waves before. So um, I think this is a good change. Um, because now if you build Banana Haven, they will just send 18, and you kind of need to build up for it a little bit better. And this actually also means that you can now spam death caps for <laughs> 16, 17, 18. So they have like three good waves in a row. But keep in mind that 16 they do 100% damage, 17 they do 70% damage, and on 18 they only do bonus damage. So they might not be super OP, but at least they don't have a ranged wave to deal with. So that helps already. So yeah, that was this patch, and then there's... Oh, I didn't scroll to it. A hotfix patch. Um, this is important. So, because of 13, they uh, they nerfed 4 eyes a little bit, the damage of it. Okay, well, the damage was already low, so I don't think this was the, this was the problem. And they nerfed the vertical on this damage a little bit, because apparently too many people were going 13. And I also saw it that... Um, that a team leaked, I don't know how many, like 12, uh, 10 creeps, and they almost died. So 13 seemed pretty damn strong. And uh, yeah, I think that that's okay that they tuned it down a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really hard to hold 13 right now. Um, but yeah, so that was the patch. Tell me what you think. Um, yeah, the, the biggest changes are basically that the waves are stronger, so you need even more value, or people will probably go into shorter saves. Like, you can't really save that long. Um, that, that's also what, what they're talking about here. You can't save that long if the waves are that strong. Then you actually really have some problems already against really low sends. So that's good. That's good. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And um, yeah, enjoy the new patch. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upload a video of 1.77 today. So uh, yeah, see you there. Bye-bye.